Okay, again, I would have absolutely loved to show you more of the Skinamax game, in essence, but uh, I try to keep my videos as family-friendly as possible. I try to avoid profanity and showing anything that is too risque and such. But I'm uh, going to do a little bit of a tutorial on how to appropriately add the Scum V games now. I'm going to use Hashiet and go to File Add, and these are a little bit like Amiga and DOS, where they're somewhat unintuitive in nature, but I try to make it as easy as possible. I'm going to go to File Add as is. But one thing I'd like to highly recommend here is going to settings and making sure you have compressed games when added and disabled. Because in general, cartridge games can be used with compressed games when added. But if you're running anything that is CD based, such as PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, uh, and even PSP for instance, I mean, make sure compressed games when added and is disabled. Otherwise, you're going to break the games. They're not going to work. But if you do it accidentally, you can right click on a game like this. And click uh, Decompress Selected Game. But I'm going to go to File Add. As is, I'm going to go to my Working Folder. And uh, basically, we're going to be using very, very special files here. I'm going to go to uh, My Release, which is going to release within the next day or so. Go to My Releases here. <laughs> so I have quite a few of these. The Extras Folder. And we're going to go into uh, a new folder called Scum V. I'm going to take this folder here, Scum VM Launchers, and extract it right here. Okay. And I have the launcher files for many, many games, and I would add these as the launcher to be able to enable the game. It's just like a Q file for PlayStation 1 and Sega CD, Sega Saturn, and so on. So I'm going to add, uh, we'll say Beneath a Steel Sky as an example here. I'm going to search for that. And I'm going to add the one that's just called Beneath a Steel Sky, Scum V. Again, these are like Q files that point to all the contents of the games. So I'm going to add Beneath a Steel Sky, Scum V, M, as is. And you can scroll to the right and make sure you do not have a 7-zip extension. If I would have had like a... 7-zip, that would mean that it actually compressed it, and it will not work. I mean, again, anything that is CD-based, Q-based, M3U-based, you do not want to have a 7-zip extension on it. And if you do, you can right-click on it and decompress it. But best thing to do is just go into settings and go to Hashi, uh, compress games when added, disable it. I typically just leave it off unless I really need it on for cartridges like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and so on. Now that I have that done, I'm going to put a little bit of a prefix there for Scum VM. Just what I do to keep mine all nice and organized. Beneath the still sky, I'm going to Google for some art here. Okay, beneath the still sky, see what I like the most there. I'll just add this one here. Okay. And then, of course, uh, that's just a Q file. It's not the entire game, so I'm going to right-click on it. You can do F4 or Show Windows Explorer. I'm in that directory there. And then I'm going to go to my working folder right here that I put together. And here's the added bonus right here. Just watch the added bonus. I'm going to go back. And if you see many of my videos, I tend to open window after window after window. I could have 47 windows open by the time I'm done with a video. So deal with it. Okay, I'm going to go back to my extras here. And I have a games folder. This is going to be in the Mega NZ link only. So at the top of my JIT hub. And yes, I pronounce it Jithub, even though it's pronounced GitHub. I pronounce it Jithub, Tomato, Tomato, Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden, as you've seen in many of my videos. But games, Scum VM games. And I have games uh, for English, French, German, Hebrew, Italian, Polish, and Spanish. So, I mean, you can play Beneath a Steel Sky in Spanish if you'd like to. But I'm going to add it in English because that is my primary language. I'm going to copy... And paste this beneath the still sky to my working folder, which I probably already did. I'll go to my working folder here on my other drive. And I have uh, beneath the still sky CD right there. I'm running the CD version of it. I'm going to extract it to a folder with the same name. And once it's fully extracted, I'm going to go into that folder. And you add DOSBox games uh, essentially the same way where you would add the executable as the main launcher file, and then you go into the folder like I am right now for Beneath the Still Sky, and I'm going to copy and paste all of the other files. Again, I'm going to go to my Beneath the Still Sky here, show Windows Explorer, and I'm going to copy and paste the entire game 
in there along with the launcher. And then when you're done, you could sync it, export it. I do it manually where I'm just going to go to, uh, I'll click the CLV at the top right here, then Games SNES, then it shows the folder name, copy, and I'll go to my uh, SSD drive, which I need to uh, plug in. And I do use that Linux file systems uh, for Paragon so I can run ext4. I have it mounted right now so I can see it in my uh, Windows computer. I'm going to my Hashi games folder and I'm going to copy and paste it there. And I already did it earlier so I could just ignore that. But yes, that's how I do that. I'm going to add another game right now. Let's see what other games I have in my test folder here. I'm going to... And this is what I'm talking about. I have many, many games here. I'm going to add another one. We'll do uh, Dreamweb, for instance. So I'll copy that over to my working folder. Again, let's open more and more windows as we go on here. <laughs> Scumby folder. I'll add a couple of these real quick. Just so you see the general uh, way of doing this. We'll add Dreamweb real quick. I'm going to extract the two folder of the same name. And this has more files. Some of them could have up to 100 to 200 files. I mean, you'll see what I mean. This has quite a few files. And I'm going to wait for it to fully extract here. But while it's doing that, I'm going to go to Hashi. I'm going to File, Add More Games, As Is. I'm going to search for DreamWeb. And I have uh, tons of launchers. And this is a very... Uh, Beginner setup. I'm actually uh, going to get into the more advanced setup where you can make your own Scumby files. You'll be able to manually edit them and choose the files that you want them to point to, just like Q files. I'm going to add DreamWeb. But this will be a great start to get you in the game. And again, you're going to have multiple games you can play. You're going to have, uh, these are actually games that I can legally distribute because they are uh, public domain free games. We have Beneath the Still Sky, Dracula, The Vampire Strikes Back, DreamWeb, Flight of the Amazon Queen, Mystery House, Lure of the Temperus, S-Finks, and Sota. So you have eight games that you can play for free, and they're all included in the update in the Mega NZ link under Extras Games Scum V English. And, of course, you can do the other languages as well. But I added that, and I'm going to do the same thing where I do Scum VM, DreamWeb, Search for Art, Dream of right there. That's decent enough. Then I'm going to go to that folder that I extracted here. Copy and paste all of these files. Yes, there are a lot of files. Just copy all of them. So I have everything copied and pasted. Should I say copied for pasting? I'm going to copy these. I'm going to go to the Dream Web folder. Show Windows Explorer. Copy and paste. And once these are all copied, I can do the same thing. Sync, export, or manually copy it over, since I do it that way. And let's see what other game I'd like to add real quick. Oh, we'll do Day of the Tentacle. Same thing. File, add, more games as is. Day of the Tentacle. Now I add the main one right here. Scum VM, Day of the Tentacle. And a Google for Art. This looks pretty nifty, I'll do that one. Then I'm going to do the same thing where I take all the files and copy and paste them. All of these. And even though this says a WinRare archive, you're going to just copy these files as is. I mean, most of these are in the standard archives. I'm going to browse to that folder. Copy and paste. So pretty standard. I mean, you add games for this just like with DOS games. I mean, just make sure the compress option is not enabled and you're good to go. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And this is going to release within the next day or two. And, uh... It is an incredible system, and many a person has wanted this on the Mini, and we now have it. So, hope you enjoy your weekend playing these games. I'm going to do my best to get it out before I go to work tomorrow, but these are some incredible games.